Greetings in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we're beginning a new series on on my YouTube channel, uh, which is called Meet for Christians. Uh, and this is going to be uh, discussing some of the more difficult things that um, that we have to endure and walk through the refining and pruning, uh, the molding and shaping, uh, all of the things that uh, denote what God is really doing in our life. And so I pray that you join along with us, that you'd even join this channel. Uh, so you, it's going to be a series of uh, several teachings, and they're not going to be long, maybe five minutes. So I hope that you can grow as a result of this. We're about to enter into a glorious season, uh, a powerful outpouring of God's Holy Spirit, and each of us want to be ready to carry His glory. And you've been asking God, what is it that I need to do? And hopefully this will be an answer to your prayer. This is really about what God is doing in you. So uh, we're going to be starting really from my uh, book, my first book called The Crucifixion Handbook. And, um, well, hold on to your seatbelts. As we gaze upon his beauty, the multifaceted splendor, we can see so many of God's divine attributes. And we know that he is love. He's gentle, he's kind, he's merciful, he's compassionate. He truly is love. But the truth of the matter is that God also is a refiner's fire. He desires to conform you to the image of his son, Jesus Christ. All throughout my life, I have gone through seasons and series of circumstances that have pruned me, refined me, broken me, made me cry. Times that I've failed, and then times that I've gotten back up again. And I think you're kind of the same way. But I think the most important thing for us to understand is that God is in control of all things. And if you will really trust Him, you will come out as pure gold, as silver, and you will be a useful vessel for, uh, for our Lord. Now, if you've chosen to go all the way with Jesus, you've probably already learned that it leads far beyond the righteousness, peace, and joy of the Holy Ghost that you signed up for. You know, sometimes it's really a perilous journey. And uh, it's been called uh, the pruning hand, the refiner's fire, the wine press of the Lord, the wilderness experience, the dark night of the soul, all of these things. Uh, but the truth is, a gentle, loving, merciful God will also allow difficulties in our life uh, for us to be uh, pruned and conformed to the image of Christ. I'm not going to be talking about some ecclesiastical, methodical efforts and stuff like that. That's that's not what this is about. It's about understanding what God is doing in us and allowing him uh, to do it. Uh, I know that you've heard, uh, if any man desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Well, where do you think you're going with that cross? You're going to Calvary, brothers and sisters. <laughs> you're going to be crucified. And that's why the book is called The Crucifixion Handbook. It really, uh, how, how do you handle these circumstances? What do you do? How are you going to allow God to work in your life? So um, this is really uh, how uh, we're going to start this book with a prayer. Lord, uh, we really desire to allow you to do whatever you need to do in our life, to refine us and prune us and conform us to the image of Jesus Christ. I'm willing to go all the way with you, Lord. I want to follow you all the way. I want to accomplish all that you want me to accomplish. I want to be all that you want me to be, to the glory and honor of your name. Okay, so stay tuned in, because there, um, you can go right ahead right now to lesson one. This is the intro, and let's see what God would say to you. Believe me, I know that it's difficult, but I'm not talking about the pain, the crying, the woe is me. I'm talking about being victorious in Christ, loving him above everything else, and willing to allow him to prune you so that you can bear more fruit. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. <laughs>